Hi, I'm here meeting the studios at the University of Nicosia and today I will introduce to you how to perform basic operations for the data video SE3000. The SE3000 is a HD SD live production switcher filled with an impressive amount of features and functions. Some of them are the built-in transitions, the chroma key and also a touch screen so you can change settings easier. The first thing you should be aware of is the source select group which consists of three rows. The auxiliary bus, which is used for assigning the auxiliaries and other functions like chroma key. Program. This row button is typically used to select the mixer's main program output image. Preset. This row of buttons is typically used to select the mixer's preview or next source output image. Moving on to the right hand side, you will find the transition group. That area is responsible for assigning the transition effects. You can use cut, mix, wipe, or DVE. Digital video effects. In order to use these transitions options, the background button needs to be enabled in the transitions control area of the SE3000 control panel. The fade to black is an option that lets you fade to black easily. For this to work, you need to press the enable button and the FTP button. The duration of the fade is controlled by the FTP transition in the home screen. You can also use the knob to change the value. The chroma key feature of the SE3000 is really easy to use. To set it up, you only need a few minutes. First, make sure to set up and light your studio for a chroma key. There are plenty of tutorials on the web about that. Choose the keyer channel you want to use. Under Key Controls, make sure that On, Lin, Chroma, and Self buttons are selected. Select the input source with the object in the auxiliary bus. Select the input source that you want to replace or key the object with the program bus. Here you can select a video or a still image as your background. Under transition controls, make sure that background and key 1 are selected. In the menu button group, select chroma. The chroma key menu will appear on the touch screen. Here you can adjust the chroma key behavior. The easiest way is to use quick setup. Select the mode that suits your setup. To make adjustments to the chroma key, select chroma matte, and here you can adjust the luma, or the saturation. In conclusion, your object that appears in the foreground is selected from the auxiliary bus, and your background is selected by the program bus. When you are happy with the way you have configured the SE3000, a snapshot of all settings for a live show environment can be saved or stored into a chosen user memory slot. This is done by clicking Save, User Mode, and Enter. You can load your setup in the future by clicking Load, User Mode, and Enter. Thank you for watching our video, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more tutorials.